Welcome to another Marvel tutorial. Today we'll be going through how to create goals in your user tests. Goals are a great way to give your participants a task to complete so you can validate your prototype and your designs. You'll also get audio, video and analytical feedback on your designs in just a few clicks. Okay, so let's create our first user test. Head into any project in your Marvel account. And here I have a mobile store. And what I want the user to do with this is get through the sign up process, purchase an item, and then check out and pay for it with their credit card, reaching the goal completion screen, which says congrats on it. So now if I head up to the top right hand corner, I can click the create user test button. And that gives me the option to create a user test. So I'm gonna give it a name. And as you can see, the project is selected. And now I'm gonna select goal for a goal-based test. Then pick a screen which you want the user to get to to complete the goal. And I want the congrats screen, which is the end of the checkout process in my store. And you can see that selected. Click create user test. And now you've created your test. Next, we wanna invite some people to take our test. Click on the invite participants button and you'll be presented with a link which you can use to send to any mobile or desktop device to allow that person to take your test. You can also send it by email directly from Marvel. But in this example, we're just gonna copy it to our clipboard. And now we can also add some personalization when someone starts and ends the test by adding an intro message and an outro message. An intro message is what shows before the test starts and an outro message is what shows when the test ends. So that means you can use intro messages to give tasks to users before the test starts, and you can use outro messages to give some instructions on what will happen when the test ends, such as a follow-up survey or getting a reward for taking the test. So now that we have our test set up, let's give it a go by pasting a link into the browser to get the experience that our participants would get when they take the test. The first thing they'll see is a screen that will ask for their name and email address. Once they've entered that, we'll then check the audio and video to make sure it's working correctly. And then the user will be shown your intro message and a button to start the test. Once they click that, the test will begin. They can stop the test at any point by clicking on the stop test button on the bottom left hand corner. And the prototype is ready to start being tested. So as the user clicks around, the prototype and through the different screens all the clicks and interactions are picked up and recorded the audio and the video are also recorded to present back to you once you view the result in this particular test we have a goal which is at the end so as the user gets to that goal the test will stop it will get uploaded into your marvel account ready to be viewed so if we head back to the project in marvel and hit refresh you'll see that we have our first result now that you have a result, you'll also have some stats to go with it. Along the top, you'll see the aggregated stats for the entire project, which include the percentage rate of people hitting the goal screen, the average duration of the test, and the amount of missed taps or missed clicks that test has gotten. Below those stats, you'll see the individual test results and the stats that go with them. So for example, here we can see the duration of this test, what device it was taken on, the amount of missed taps or missed clicks, whether it hit the goal and the time the result came in. This gives you a good indication of whether these results have specific problems. So for example, if the average duration is 28 seconds and you have a test result that is a few minutes long, then that may indicate that user had a problem and you might wanna look at that one first. The same applies for mistaps and misclicks and whether they hit the goal. So let's click on our result to see our user test played back. Once you do that, you enter into our playback mode where you can see on the left hand side some additional information about the test such as the name of the user, the email address, the date the test was taken, the device, the OS and the screen size as well as the stats. On the right hand side you'll have the screen which is the screen recording of what the user did with your prototype. Along the bottom you have the timeline of screens the user went through and on the top right you also have the video and audio being played back so you can see exactly what the user did and get their thoughts whilst they were using your prototype. 
So we've just gone through the experience of a user opening your test on a desktop browser. But what happens if you send it to an iOS device or an Android device? Well, for Android, it works exactly the same. Your test will open up in the browser and it will work seamlessly as it does on a desktop browser. For iOS, it works a little bit differently. It requires the user to have Marvel's iOS app installed to allow the screen recording and the video and audio to be recorded as well. Let's go through the experience of inviting someone on an iOS device. So here we're going to go through the invite participants button, click on email and enter the email we want to invite. The user then gets the email invite on their device where they can tap and see the button to start the user test. Once they've tapped that, they'll be prompted to either install the Marvel iOS app from the App Store, or if they already have it, they can just tap the button to begin the test. There is no registration required to start the test. Next, we'll ask for the name and email address of the user, and then we'll ask for permission to use the camera, the microphone, and the screen recording features of iOS and then the test is ready to begin. So the user can move around the start and stop button if it gets in the way. And once they've done that, they will get the intro message and start the test. As they move through your prototype, everything is recorded. And once they reach the goal, the test will automatically end and the result get uploaded to your Marvel project. And if you head back to your project, hit refresh, you'll see your new result. And then you'll be able to see the audio, video, and screen recording played back inside of Marvel, along with the timeline of each screen that the user went through. The final part of user testing that I'm gonna show you today is adding your team members to your project so you can collaborate on it together and share the results. So you do this by clicking on share, then on the left hand side search for the team members you want to add to the project and then click add and that's it now those team members can come into the project see the results and get notifications when new results come in and that wraps up our guide to goal-based user tests in marvel if you want to find out more about marvel head to www.marvelapp.com thanks for watching